007, it's too late for Agent Nightshade, but she needn't have died in vain. It's imperative that you reclaim those vials as quickly as possible. We've intercepted their radio transmission. They intend to transfer the vials to an armored van for more secure transportation. You must get to that rendezvous before they escape. Should you be unable to prevent the transfer from occurring, you must stop the armored van at all costs. Use caution, however. We need those vials intact. 007, I've airdropped some Q-Lab equipment into your area. They will appear as blips on your radar. The Q-Pulse is particularly effective in disabling vehicles without damaging their contents. You'll need to get within a few meters of your target and allow adequate charge-up time to ensure success. Everyone, Jarvis Gaming, welcome back to 007 Agent Under Fire. Now, I'm re-recording. this and a couple of other parts. I recorded the majority of this game all at once. Actually, I did it all over the course of a single day, really. The Q branch briefcase that contains the vials is equipped with a locating beacon, 007. The arrow on your radar will enable you to track it. So it's going to be a little... Man, I forgot all these audio interruptions already. So it's going to be a little awkward going back in. On your radar indicate special modifications I've developed for your vehicle, 007. Use them sparingly, however. Yeah, would you mind shutting up so I can talk to my audience? <laughs> or at least getting some subtitles. So yeah, this is the first of the stages that I have to redo. And I should not be crashing in so much. Anyway, let's get to it. This stage confused me for a while. Because I couldn't figure out how to use the Q-Pulse. Which is what you need to finish the stage, actually. Of course, they don't make it easy to just pick it up and use it. Mustn't lose sight of that armored van. I you put the Q pause right. These controls are harder than I the thought. I'm just starting this mission over. <laughs> the and this time I will interrupt these, or rather talk over these people, because you already heard their conversations. Oh, I already have a Q pause with me. Well, that's convenient. Okay, I don't know why you just crash into the side when you were going straight before. Yes, like I said, I don't need that armor. Couldn't figure out how to properly time putting the Q-Pulse in before. So that led to a handful of mission failures due to them getting away. And I missed that pulse. And I also turned prematurely. Okay, I think I know why I'm screwing up so much. It's because I'm subconsciously trying to rush through the stage because I already did it. Like not even a whole eight hours ago. Maybe it was eight hours by now, but still. I'm not too thrilled about having to do this again. Because I haven't even edited the other episodes yet. I was just putting them onto my timeline. Come on. Let's get that van. That's weird. Can I just use the pulse now? Oh! <laughs> That was easy. Even easier than last time. And I got hit from behind. I think he's dead.
Wow, that was incredibly short. Anyway, that's all for this time because we're doing one mission per video. And we'll see you next time for number four. Till then, this has been Jargus, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you then, everyone.